This video is sponsored by Surfshark. A lot of people don't even know something like this even exists. I have it wirelessly connected to my Galaxy Fold 4. The latency isn't actually all that bad. So the Nextdoc 360 Wireless is the latest laptop to try to convince you to use your phone as a laptop too. Hi everyone, Ta here. So this is basically a convertible laptop shell with none of the traditional computer stuff on the inside. Instead, relying on whatever it's connected to to do all the work. It's compatible with any phone that offers a desktop mode, Samsung DeX being the most recognizable one. Previous versions of these laptops have always required a wired connection, but now they've added a wireless option too. It uses Miracast to wirelessly cast to the laptop screen and Bluetooth to wirelessly connect the keyboard plus trackpad. So diving in, right now I have it wirelessly connected to my Galaxy Fold 4 via Samsung DeX. In wireless mode, the 1080p screen maxes out at 30 hertz, and I'm going to be honest here, 30 hertz is just not that pleasant on the eyes. You might be able to tolerate it, but with displays on phones hitting 120 hertz, the drop in refresh rate can be really jarring and hard to get used to. On the bright side, for a wireless connection, the latency isn't actually all that bad, assuming you have a decent Wi-Fi connection, of course. You definitely aren't gonna be doing any wireless gaming, but for basic things like browsing the web, answering emails, scrolling through social media, or even just streaming videos, I'd say it's passable. But look, you're getting something like this to expand your phone's capabilities and to hopefully boost productivity, right? You gotta ask yourself if the convenience of not having the single cable connected is worth the trade-offs. I'm gonna say no. The wireless connectivity can definitely be convenient in certain situations, but with the noticeable latency and only a 30 hertz refresh rate, I'm going to offer a wired connection 90% of the time. When plugged in, there's zero delay and you get a much more acceptable 60 hertz refresh rate. It's just a way better experience. In my opinion, if you want to give the whole phone as a laptop thing a try, skip this wireless version, get the regular Nextdoc 360 and save yourself the 50 bucks. They're identical except for the wireless functionality. If they can figure out a way to get the refresh rate up to at least 60 hertz, then it might be worth a second look down the road. If you're always at a desk, then a cable connection likely won't be too much of a problem. Wireless is of course ideal, but not with these current drawbacks. Connectivity aside, there's a lot to like about the rest of this laptop. It's got a very solid, almost MacBook-like aesthetic to it. The 13.3 inch touchscreen display gets decently bright, and because it has that 360 degree hinge, it gives you a lot of flexibility to use as both a laptop and tablet. The auto rotate is a little wonky in tense mode though. If you go past a certain angle, it sort of flips upside down. I actually ended up using the touchscreen way more than I thought I would because the trackpad is still one of my least favorite aspects of these lap dogs. There's now basic palm rejection, which is helpful, but my cursor still occasionally jumps around due to my palm touching it. It's also just not that great for precise tracking and scrolling is a little too choppy for my liking. It's usable, but just don't expect a MacBook quality trackpad. The touchscreen, a Bluetooth mouse, or even using the phone as a trackpad are all better options. I also wish the speakers were better. I mean, I like that they're upward firing, but the speakers on my phone get louder and sound way better. In tense mode, which is how I like to use it to watch content, the speakers end up facing backwards though, and the low volume doesn't help either. On the bright side, the backlit keyboard has been really nice to type on. The extra ports and dongles provided are a nice way to connect other devices, like a hard drive to transfer files or a USB controller when gaming. The built-in battery can actually charge the phone while it's plugged in too. It's a pretty small battery though. I was able to completely drain it in about four and a half hours, and that's with the phone charging disabled. I would have liked to see a bigger battery here. One of the biggest benefits to using your phone as your laptop is the continuity. All your apps, pictures, documents, and files are instantly available. There's no need to send files back and forth or use some cloud service to move things between devices. I especially love being able to just receive messages and respond to them right on the laptop. Also, unlike other laptops, you don't need to worry about hotspotting to your phone or connecting to Wi-Fi. Since your phone is always connected, your laptop is always connected to the web as well. The biggest drawback is of course the need to physically connect to your phone via a cable and to keep them connected at all times while in use. Because let's face it, the wireless option just doesn't cut it right now. Having the single cable isn't the end of the world, but it's still not ideal. If you want to get up and take a picture with your phone, for example, you'd have to unplug or look completely silly carrying both. 
You can use the phone while it's running DeX on the laptop though, so that's nice, but it does dip down to 60 hertz. There are phone mounts and sleeves that you can buy to have a dedicated spot to mount your phone, but I feel like that should be provided with the laptop. While desktop modes like DeX are more than capable for certain tasks, it's not going to replace an actual laptop, especially if your work requires specific programs that are only available on Windows or Mac OS. Basically, if you can't do it on your phone, DeX isn't going to magically make it possible. These desktop modes like DeX all still run Android under the hood. For example, Office apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are all mobile versions. So if you need functionality that's only available on the desktop version, this wouldn't cut it. Make sure you do your research before jumping into something like this. Because the next dock requires your phone to function, without your phone connected, it's essentially useless. Thankfully, the laptop can also double as a portable monitor when it's not being used as a laptop. I love that you can simply plug in a Nintendo Switch via the USB-C port and just start gaming on it. This gives you a bigger screen to play on with friends while on the go. Since it also comes with a mini HDMI port, you can plug in other consoles or use it as a second display for a computer so you can get a little more use out of it. But real quick, let me talk to you about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a virtual private network that encrypts all your data before it goes over the internet, masking your true IP address and location, keeping you safe and private. With Surfshark, you can actually gain access to different content libraries from around the globe. Did you know Canada has the biggest movie catalog on Netflix? Well, now that you do, just connect to a Canadian server and stream away. The best part, they offer unlimited connections. Yes, unlimited. So download and use Surfshark on as many devices as you want. Like seriously, that's unheard of. Take 83% off plus get three months free by clicking the link below and using the code REN with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not happy, just get a refund. So look, laptops in general are a very niche product. The obvious alternatives to something like this would be a cheap Android tablet, a Chromebook, or even a Windows laptop. Most people will probably just opt for one of those options before even considering a product like this, even though this might be a better fit. The reality is that a lot of people don't even know something like this even exists. Heck, a lot of people don't even know about Samsung DeX. They've basically taken a touchscreen, a USB hub, a keyboard, a trackpad, a power bank, and combined it into a sleek package marketed towards Samsung DeX fans. If you've always wanted to give a laptop a try, the Nextalk 360 is probably the most enticing option available, even with the weak speakers and below average trackpad. I'd probably skip the wireless version until they figure out how to do at least 60 hertz. You know what? I'd love to see Samsung make their own laptop like this. It'd be a great way to sell more people on the whole DeX concepts, but I'd imagine they'd rather sell you one of their much more expensive Windows powered Galaxy books instead. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.